For this portion of the tutorial, we are going to be looking at um, getting a voice report using a prod recording. To do that, first open up a prod on your MacBook or your Windows. Um, I'm using a Mac right now, so it looks a little bit different in Mac compared to what it does in Windows, primarily in terms of these um, icons on the left side of the screen right here. But for now, what we're going to do is record a new sound. To do that, just like before, we click on new and then we do record mono sound. You could record stereo sound for a different purpose. For this purpose, we are just going to do a record mono sound. And then um, we leave it as uh, it is in terms of the sound recorder, meaning we don't change anything in terms of the sampling frequency leave it at a 44,100 hertz and then our input source is our macbook pro microphone um, if you are using via zoom you could also use the zoom audio device and this is for those cases where you might be doing um, your voice recording via zoom but otherwise we are going to use our usual microphone a way to find out whether it's recording or not is that a green recording bar will show up on the VU meter right here. So once I'm ready to record, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the button that says record on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And um, I'm going to be recording the vowel A. Ah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this recording as a sound A. Ah. And then I'm going to hit record. Make sure that the bar stays green in the meter. If it becomes red or yellow, it means that you're overshooting your target. If it's right at the bottom or if it doesn't show up at all, meaning um, there is something probably wrong with your microphone and you might want to check that. So I'm going to record right now. Uh... And hit stop. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to start my analysis. To do that, the first step is to save the list and close. When I have that, um, I'm going to select the sound that I have on my screen by clicking on it and it turns blue. And then I'm going to hit view and edit, which then opens up this window again on the bottom part of the screen right here, you're seeing what's called as the spectrogram. And on the top part, you're seeing the waveform. On the uh, x-axis, um, in both of these, you are going to be seeing the time. And then on the y-axis, uh, in the bottom part, we are going to be looking at um, the frequency. So it starts from 0 hertz to 5000 hertz. Uh, what we are most interested in right now is to get a voice report, but just to highlight a few important sections in prod. The bottommost dark line right here, that's going to be your fundamental frequency, which determines the pitch of the voice. All the other darker lines are your form and bands, and this depends on the shape of your vocal tract and the resonance of the vocal tract in general. But for now, we can get a few information from this recording. So I could get the pitch, the intensity, and also a voice report. To get the pitch, I uh, first need to select a portion of the um, sound. Now, normally I do select something that is more stable and standard. So I select a small chunk or a small slice of the recording right in the mid portion. So the red line right here, that's your cursor. If you drag your cursor, it's going to select a small portion of your recording. And when it's selected, it lights up pink like that. It'll show the portion or the time information of the portion that is selected right here. You can click on pitch and do get pitch to give you um, the mean pitch for this selected portion, but you'll also get that information if you do a voice report. If you wanted to get the intensity, you could also do get intensity right here, and that's also going to give you um, uh, an intensity um, value for this. So I need to first make sure that it says show intensity so that it does show up 
the mean value for that and the intensity contour for that if you don't select that it'll give you an error once you do have that in fact you can find out the intensity that is represented here it says my uh, mean intensity for the entire recording is 66.37 decibels but you can also get that value from clicking on intensity and do get intensity and that should give you the mean energy in that particular area so for this selection it says the mean intensity is 66.37 you could also get any variability of the intensity by looking at uh, functions such as get minimum intensity and get maximum intensity uh, in this case my minimum intensity is 66.02 and my maximum intensity is 66.74 now only uh, note that if you are doing that type of recording you will need this value if you do not uh, anticipate any intensity variability in your assessment then you probably don't need to use this feature but let's go ahead and look at the voice report to get the voice report i'm going to click on a function that is uh, right on the end of the top bar um, and it is on the right hand side it says pulses i click on that and then the fourth option right there that says voice report and that's the one that we are interested in so when we click on voice report it gives us a number of values so the voice report is important because it gives us an understanding of a person's voice quality by measuring the noise to harmonic ratio the jitter the shimmer and all of the other factors that can then contribute towards your hoarse voice notice that you also get the pitch information from this recording so it looks like in this case my mean pitch was 193.63 hertz um, it also shows the standard deviation of the pitch throughout the recording um, and the minimum and the maximum pitch values let's look at the jitter and the shimmer values now the jitter and the shimmer values uh, help us understand the variability the cycle to cycle variability in uh, pitch and intensity so um, what we generally tend to do is uh, we have uh, the jitter and shimmer values reported here and for this particular recording i'm going to be looking at the uh, local jitter value that in this case is 0.428 uh, i can run it up to 0.43 and then the shimmer value or uh, the local shimmer value and i can look at the value either in percentage or in decibels but the most commonly reported value is in decibels which in this case was 0.29 I can also look at the harmonicity um, and I can get the noise to harmonic ratio and the harmonics to noise ratio. Usually the one that says the harmonics to noise ratio is most common. In this case, it was 17.7 decibels. And that um, helps us understand how um, harmonic our voice is or if there is any um, component that makes our voice sounds hoarse or harsh. So the jitter, shimmer, and the harmonic to noise ratio contributes towards the voice quality. And that brings me to the end of this tutorial for Pratt. You can get these values using CSL and other softwares, but Pratt is free. And in absence of any other tool, this could be something that's useful for you for your voice reports and clinic.